Hi, my name is Daphne from Artinus Medical Systems, and in this video, I will show you how you can create standard graphs in Oxysoft. I'm doing this for a measurement that has already finished, but you can also do it for ongoing measurements. There are a few different ways to create graphs. You can access all of them by right-clicking on the measurement or by selecting a measurement and clicking on the graph menu at the top. To create a new graph, you click on Create Graph. You'll see this screen in which you can name your graph and change any settings before you create it. You can also change this later. A new graph will be created without any traces. To add a trace, right-click on the graph and select Add Trace. This opens a window with different tabs where you can select the channel and unit that you want displayed in the graph. For example, let's select oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin from channel RX1, DX1. If you would like to create multiple of these graphs, you can also use Create All Graphs. This option allows you to create the default graphs again as you would be when starting a measurement. You can select which data types you would like to see in what type of graph. Single graphs show data of one channel, split polygraphs show data from one subtemplate, and polygraphs show data from a whole template. The polygraphs are useful when you have a lot of channels. If you select single graph for all data types, they'll be shown in the same graph per channel. Completing this process without clicking this box will delete all the other graphs for this measurement. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And if you have any questions about this video, have a look in your manual or send an email to askforinfo at artinas.com. Have a nice day.